Our first one, service by Jelly Bean and food was excellent. <laughs> <laughs> the second one, uh, not not happy with the sneaky service and upselling tactics from the waiter Tarzan. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Community Notice Board Podcast, a podcast about suburbs we grew up in, local landmarks, hometown heroes, and coming of age tales. We're still in lockdown, probably indefinitely. We figured out how to be funny on Zoom. All it took was one episode, yep. and now we're... And we've figured it out in that episode. It's very good. And now yeah. we'll continue Before being that episode. Yeah. Well, <laughs> two out of three. Two out of three vaxxed as well. Yeah. We're about yeah. to uh, be invincible. You've, uh, you've oh, had yeah. one fucking vax, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, I have <laughs> one. Next one, Friday, one I'm going to be fully vaxxed. Two out of three, I've, one out of two. I've actually had the AstraZeneca <laughs> vaccine because I'm kind of a leftist woke comedy hero. Okay. And uh, I will post... I had the Moderna. Pic- I'm waiting for. I'm, wait, I'm waiting for. Synodox. I got early access to the. I got the beta version of Moderna. Hey, yeah, you got the beta version, all right. You got the fucking alpha version. Of the you they call it the- alpha alpha Zeneca. They call me. <laughs> yeah. So what we're doing is instead of a suburb, we're kind of delving into, I guess, Australian icons. Yeah, Australian yeah. just things we, we that define growing up in uh, the suburbs, I guess, of Australia. And we're getting some old favorite. Uh, yeah. guests on you know who we've already we've already covered where they grew up and now we're sort of diving into you know things they loved about growing up and things that yeah. they remember so you know we did uh, Wonderland last week with Alexi which was great and we've got today on this episode which we've already recorded and that's why <laughs> we think it's very funny so but you're we about know. to hear it <laughs> we know it's great and we have Cameron James <laughs> doing Hog's Breath Cafe yeah so if you have anything you want us to cover specifically, write in, DM us on uh, Insta or, or you know, email us or anything because we'd love to get your ideas of what you'd like us to cover. Yeah, what about like cheese TV? <laughs> She's yeah. just going to be like, what about cheese? Um, <laughs> what, about, what about me just eating a block of cheese? <laughs> uh, For sure, uh, could we... The cheese TV guys are still probably around. We could give them a yeah. DM, right? I, Man, I I've been rewatching be- Heartbreak High, and the not Ryan, but the other one from Cheese TV, the nerdier one, is what he's just a character, but he's like nine years old in Heartbreak High. As soon as I saw his goofy head, I was like, "That's the fucking dude from Cheese TV." I always and wondered about those guys because they they weren't like you think of they weren't like comedians, but they were sort of just wha- L- TV. Well, at guys. least one was a, was a child actor. That's yeah. That that I reckon there's a like a huge uh a huge you know thing to mine into that with cheese of the and i think they came back and they tried to do some weird they did uh, yeah. video well, now podcast. they do like live live appearances at clubs and stuff like their fucking paris hilton in 2003 <sighs> that's, that's, fucking rules. that's pretty brutal yeah. imagine getting in the moose heads just fucking down but, some uh, i was Red a cheese tv bodies. guy yeah <laughs> i uh that's it and everybody says you know 9 11 where were you 9 11 Watching cheese TV or wasn't <laughs> yeah. watching cheese TV. Hilarious. That's like that's all anyone ever talks about in Australia. So it's pretty iconic. Yeah, we should do that. We should get. Yeah, some we on. should delve into that. Anyway, um, anyhow, enjoy this episode. Yeah, it's we're gonna good. get Cam on now. So thanks everybody, and yeah, stay safe. Get get the vaccines uh, unless you're worried about blood clots and five uh, G and stuff like that. And just don't do it then. <laughs> Otherwise, stay at home because it's a scam. I can't connect to any Wi Fi access. Point now. <laughs> yeah, that's why the speed's quicker now for this app because Jamie's <laughs> had the Bill yeah. Gates vaccine. <laughs> um, I also anyway. know every single episode name of all Futurama episodes. Well, you already could do <laughs> that. You did, you did. I already <laughs> did. <know> that. <Yeah. laughs> oh, but now man. I don't get a boner when I say them. Because <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're impotent. But anyway. Yeah. Uh, all right. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, enjoy the app. Oh, you guys look fucking sensational, and I look like a big pile of turds over here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just put a photo up if you want. We just, uh, <laughs> so just you at the gym. Just, just box pop it like those Conan sketches with your mouth moving. You know? <laughs> we should do that with all of us. Cargo. Just still photos of all four of us. <laughs> um, oh, wow, uh, Saddam Hussein is talking about box breath now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
Bill <laughs> Clinton's talking about hot chocolate. <laughs> I, did I did not have not sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is a fertile ground. We don't need research. Yeah, Let's just yeah. do bad, bad nineties impressions. Let's make it celebrity yeah. death match. Oh. Monica Lewinsky had his hog's breath, didn't she? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn. Thank God we started recording. That's that's clippable for Instagram. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> out of Fuck. context. We're going to be downing out on that those likes for a couple of hours. I just won't have any context, and it's just like Drew's trying Lewinsky bits. <laughs> 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 we we'll just title it Drew's Return to Stand Up 2021. <laughs> He's like, Monica Lewinsky's in the news. You seen this? You heard about this? Oh, oh God. Tell you you what guys heard Y2K. about this Lorena Bobbitt? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> She's snipping, snipping wieners oh. off all over town. Damn. That's funny. Ah. Oh, uh, baby. We, uh, uh, I mean, we got to put that fine. stuff in. This all gold. That's just <laughs> gold. Let's commit it's the gold, height Jerry. of comedy just there. Uh, <laughs> all right. We're doing it. We're doing. We're back and we're talking chain restaurants, specifically Hog's Breath. We got a very special guest, very funny comedian, now based off YouTube, I believe, uh, host of some hit <laughs> podcasts. We got Cameron James. How are you, mate? <laughs> Oh, thanks so much for having me, guys. I love I love all of you guys. I love your podcast, but nowhere near as much as I love the hallowed halls <laughs> of Hogs Breath Cafe, formerly Hogs Australia Steakhouse, yeah. formerly oh, yeah. Hogs Breath Cafe and Saloon. And if I had your identities, I, the, yeah. the, hog, oh, the hogsters, yeah. I... Well, I wanted oh. to bring... That, that leads straight into what I had um, for my research because the, the whole name change thing... Mm. absolutely killed me and i had no idea about it until last year when i went to nelson bay and saw hogs it's, they still had the sign yeah. hogs yeah. and i was like i could have st- that's that used that's a, use a hog's breath right and i'm talking to my girlfriend she thinks i'm insane i was like i swear to god that's a hog's breath but <laughs> all the branding similar but it's just called hogs now that's our mandela and effect like, is hogs yeah. breath. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like nelson mandela's dead right <laughs> and but if you look on the sign they, you, they don't even have an apostrophe or it's a really tiny apostrophe that mm. blends in with the rest of it. So it just looks like hogs, plural, just multiple <laughs> hogs. Yeah, they're going back to 2020 yeah. doing the feral hogs meme, just trying to capitalize on that. <laughs> yeah. By the way, Drew, I'm so glad you said it was Nelson's Bay that you went to because that is the only place in the world that you see a hog's breath cafe. It's like, it's only ever when you're, you're like, yeah, I was on like a family road trip to Woi Woi. Yeah. Or like, you know, we stopped in, we stopped in somewhere on the way to somewhere else and there yeah. was nothing else open. And all we could get was a frozen steak with th- three prawns on it and some fucking... <laughs> It's always the Stinky jewel of the crown cum. of that little area too, you know. It's like the, the, down at the foreshore, you know. The whole, the whole yeah. town's built around yeah. the hog's breath. That's you know where you have your <laughs> engagement party. You know, it's like it's <laughs> it's, it's yeah. such a weird. I um I, it all I happens always down at the hogs. Yeah, you, you I, know your engagement party. You lose your anal virginity there. It all happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I um I always blew away by the name because. It's such a weird name for a restaurant, but I um so apparently it was uh, there was an original Hogs Breath Saloon. It was in the U.S. in yeah. Florida, and it was called yes. Hogs Breath Saloon. And um, it was a guy, uh, and he opened it up there, Jerry Dormady. And it was actually it was a filming location for Jaws Two, actually. Ah. Uh, I don't oh, know if you've seen Jaws. I haven't seen Jaws Two, but there's a there's a pinball Fuck. area where Surfing kids are to. playing pinball. Yeah, and so they they filmed it at this Hogs Breath, but um, the guy, the Australian guy, he uh, was dealing with the US guy. So hey, you should. He was mates with him, him, wasn't he? They yeah, were like buddies was, independently you know, of the restaurant business yeah they just yeah. were like sort of friends and then the aussie guy like stole his <laughs> idea stole his <laughs> He's completely st- he, he he said i'll register the trademarks for you in australia and then did it Sneaky and then he move. registered his own and it's like and dude, it- just come up with a different name man like yeah, it's like yeah. the whole business was relying <laughs> on the name hogs Wait, you've got to get that jaws to audience <laughs> <laughs> But I, I remember the first time I like the first time I heard about Hogs Breath in America. I was watching the movie. There's something about Mary, which is uh, a great, classic. a great flick, a great flick about a dude who stalks his ex girlfriend and um, comes in her hair at one point. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> if you've never seen it, that's what it's about. But um, 
Yeah, so there's one of the characters in that movie is wearing a jumper, a tie-dye jumper with Hog's Breath Saloon and Cafe and that logo of the pig with the sunglasses on it. And when I was like 12... I was like, what the fuck? Did Hog's Breath make it to America? I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that this thing from... I just thought there was only one and it was in Newcastle. Yeah. And then now I'm finding out it's made it to America and it's in a Ben Stiller movie. And so eventually, years later, I like remembered this and did my research. And I was gobsmacked by the fact that this Aussie had just ripped off a like semi-popular brand over yeah. there. Yeah. And I, I, it's not just the name. Like, get a lo- That is the logo. Like... Oh yeah, oh, it's wow. the same yeah, font, yeah, yeah. the exact same, same layout. Font. He, um, he really ran with it. He the hog's breath thing is the guy, the American guy. His grandma used to say, as a bit of a turn of phrase, say, um, alluding to bad breath. She'd be like, a hog's breath's better than having no breath at all. Was sort of like. It was like saying, well, you're better having something shit than being dead. And that's so like, that, that's, that's what they use. for Hog's Breath Cafe. That's, that's like the food there. <laughs> and they, st- they still use that yeah. in the American one, the saloon. This, the catchphrase on the menus is, a Hog's Breath better than no breath at all. And I, I just love, like, everything dark. about it shouldn't make sense. Like, and then this guy, so then that, that logo, Drew, that you showed, so he got taken to court by this American guy. I don't think he really. I think they said, "Well, like, you didn't. You didn't have an establishment in Australia. You can't claim whatever." But he just used the same fucking logo. He got sued. That's for the one. That's the American one. That seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. That's how much they had to pay. They got sued wow. for the for the designer oh. of the logo. And this is what three I'm quarters about of it. a mil. Yeah, for the fucking. Just a pig, you know? For a pig. For the but, um, shittest drawing you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> yeah. This is this this killed me though. After all that. Uh, April 2014, a story on a current affair that Hogs Breath has, has engaged lawyers uh, to demand a small industrial takeaway on the New South Wales Central Coast called Hoggies Takeaway. Yes. Cease and desist using the name Hoggies. Um, however, I just saw the next sentence. The owner of the takeaway, Sam Hogg, <laughs> chose the name because of his surname so, so like, like <laughs> the big takeaway from this is that the founder of the australian hogsworth cafe what's his name again don algy yes is the most evil yeah. motherfucker yeah. in australian business he's the rupert murdoch of hog based he, uh food ruthless. franchises <laughs> he came out and he was like so- you know, or someone came out and said, look, Hog's Breast, a franchise business operated by a local small business who pay a lot of money to use the Hog Breast Cafe property, which includes usage of many derivatives of the word hog. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. This guy's like, it's my fucking name. I'm yeah, called, I'm Sam, Sam Hog. hog. I'm you hoggy, mother- baby. I've been hoggy, hoggy. My whole life. And it's just like an industrial area yeah. cafe. Like we've all been to those before yeah, yeah. where it's you just, just go in and it's like chips on a roll rolls. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. that's it. He's not. I wonder, where, I wonder where this Don found out about it. Like did someone dob him in? <laughs> oh, he's got a Google alert for sure. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Name, Hogs, Hogs Breath, Jaws 2, Jaws the Revenge, <laughs> all the good ones. So Don... Don Algy, I looked him up. He's obviously a millionaire. Like, he's done very well for himself out of this game. Yeah. And it's a hard game to get into. Like, mm-hmm. the fucking, you know, hospitality. Ho- oh, sorry, hogspitality. hogspitality. Yeah. <laughs> he's, done, he's done very well. I looked him up. The first thing that comes up when you Google his name is that he just sold his Wit Sunday's mansion last year. And it's... It sold for $15 million. I'm looking at it right now. It's a, it's a mansion on top of a mountain in the Whit Sundays, and it has two helipads on it. Jesus Christ. The That's how well the guy them. did. Yeah. 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 No <laughs> Built up on the bones of guys named Hog. Yeah. yeah just... <laughs> Well, of course, the helipad would have a big age on it as well. And he'd be like, that's for hog, baby. The hog, <laughs> yeah. the hog copter. Yeah. <laughs> He's got to be doing uh, a bunch of hog based. Like, I'm going to show you my hog, like all that stuff. Do you guys oh, remember have all the classics? Do you guys remember the, the 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 hog villain from Captain Planet? That's all I'm thinking of now. Oh, you yeah. Know, that hog, guy, oh, yeah. Or some what hog was that guy. guy's name? Yeah, I can't remember, but that's that's who I think. Just this villainous hoggish hog greedily, guy. small hog, hoggish greedily. Yeah, yeah hoggish greedily. Hoggish greedily. You think he runs hog's breath? Yeah, that's that's in my head. 
<laughs> oh, by the way, the names on the names on Captain Planet were the least yeah. subtle thing in the world. It's so <laughs> it's funny. A subtle show. Uh, Hoggish Greedley. There was a guy. One of the guys in Hoggish Greedley was a lawyer or like a corporate lawyer called Luton Plunder. His first name was Luton. <laughs> <laughs> Luton. Luton. Uh, they didn't listen, even try to be, make it sound like a real name. Hey, hey parents, their, if your last name's first. Plunder, don't call your kid Luton, okay? Let's just, you're just setting them up for a life of villainous crime. It beat their, you know, it beat their first draft of calling him Luton Plundenstein, you know? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they angled it up uh, when he got the Mayflower. That's so funny. Um, man, I, I got some... Um, yeah, I sorry, got some, I got a couple of reviews that I, I found um, of Hog's mm-hmm. Breath <laughs> just, that just killed me. A couple of one-star reviews here. And I think it's actually, at least one of them is, no, sorry, at least two of them are the Nelson Bay one. Um, mm, so yeah. first, first review, one star here. Uh, your staff burnt, in brackets, melted the Barbie doll in a birthday cake's hair when the candles were nowhere near the hair. <laughs> so it's just someone is trying to have a nice birthday. <laughs> So they, did they have like you're imagining they had a Barbie doll like positioned on top of the cake, yeah, and for the a themed burnt. cake, and then it comes out and it looks like it's got leukemia or something, <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. and the candles are like surrounding it, like you know, it's <laughs> in the like, middle, yeah, not a did flame you do that? in sight. So they put it, they've put it under the grill with, with the 18 hour slow cooked steaks, and just to shits and giggles <laughs> to keep the cake warm. You know, yeah. put it on the heater. Hoggish and Greedley uh, just sitting in a big chair being like, good, good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that was done by Barbie Burnhead. <laughs> yeah, the Captain Planet villain. Uh, uh, this is one star, uh, one star just bad experience. So this person goes, uh, my nine-year-old asked for tomato sauce with the chicken nugget, but instead we got hot chili sauce and she started crying. <laughs> <laughs> and we, and we told them... And we told them, and we asked for some milk, and there was no apology, and they charged us for the milk. Some, dude, someday, someday it'll all be revealed that this whole franchise was just some Sasha Baron Cohen stunt <laughs> that he was filming for 20 years, just a prank on, like, this stupid fucking just, coastal town restaurants. Yeah, yeah. And he just wants the bit to be over. He's like, no one's cotton on how stupid this is. It's yeah. like, why won't people figure it out the sketch? I'm oh. sick of running this restaurant. Oh man, uh, I did that. That's a real loot and plunder move. Is to give some poor crying child some milk <laughs> to soothe them, and then be like up, 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 up on the way out. And you didn't pay. And that will milk. be three dollars uh, before uh, the milk. We got, we got one star here from Belinda. So uh, we went to your restaurant last night for my daughter's thirtieth birthday, and booked oh. for twenty plus people. Yeah, what a oh, oh, God. <laughs> she Happy thirtieth there. She had the eighteenth yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, she, she had diarrhea sense. there. Now, <laughs> she, she, she ordered the second sentence. Kind of maybe gives a hint as to what kind of person has their thirtieth there. She ordered a mm. plain chicken schnitzel with tomato sauce and curly fries. Uh, oh, hers, was, hers was the last plate to be served, and she had to ask three times for the tomato sauce. When it arrived, <laughs> she, put, she poured it all over the schnitzel. Only <laughs> to find out it was raspberry jam. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, are these guys just not labeling their tomato sauce? <laughs> it would have been coming out all thick. Oh, <laughs> so, no. <laughs> even- <laughs> but also, what kind of fucking idiot would you have to be to be like, yeah, like, would you confuse tomato sauce for raspberry jam? Oh, well, like, man. that's what, what I was trying to get out with the plain schnitzel with tomato sauce, 30 years old. I'm just, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to say it, but this is a retarded person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Drew, oh, lockdown man. has made you edgy. <laughs> so it gets even better from there. Uh, even even when the waitress came back with a replacement schnitzel, it didn't take her too long to realise that the jam had just been scraped off and the chicken had been turned over. <laughs> oh, yes, that's sick. I and that's that. the, rest, the rest is uh, several more complaints, but that kills me. They've scraped the jam, <laughs> just, uh, just turn it over. it over, and then just charge her, a, charge her a turning over fee, probably <laughs> <laughs> eight to eighteen dollars. Oh fuck, man! I went oh, to well. one in um, I went to one 
in Byron Bay a few years ago. <laughs> and um, <laughs> their big special at the time was the beef and bug special or whatever, which was like a steak, like a rump steak with a Morton Bay bug yeah, on top of nice. it. Ugh. And uh, I, I swear to God, the most disgusting thing I've ever eaten in my life. But I don't know what I was thinking. Like, of course I was going to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you're really like, just oh, doubling yeah. your option, your, your chance of getting something <laughs> shit, you know? It's like, it's really like, I d- I've never understood surf and turf as a concept. Like, it's why does so anyone gross. want to merge those two things? Yeah. That, and that it's that always, is especially hot hog's breath, yeah. it always has a really shiny glaze to the sore. Mm. Like, it, it doesn't look right. I, no. I used to think uh, the one um, in Newcastle, like, I as a kid was saying before you joined cam that like i used to be like that's like the best like i for some reason i thought it was just like such an idyllic place to go out for for a day i would go for my 15th birthday there i don't know why i don't think Mm. i ever enjoyed i think the menu was like i don't know it had a steakhouse you know menu which was pretty rare so i feel like you're just from a town with a lot of options you know you just there wasn't that's cool there was no other steakhouse and there was there was those ones that you'd see advertised on TV that never came to Newcastle, like mm. not Outback, but there was another one, like the, some other saloon. Yeah. Lone Star. I remember Lone, Lone Star, Star. Came eventually, but that was, oh, yeah. 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 But that was, a, I remember the same thing. You'd be like, wow. Or like, uh, yeah, like hard rock and hurricanes and all that. But like, yeah. Hogs Breath was like, yeah, it, it was definitely like, a, I, think I thought it was cool. Hogs Breath was that they, had the whole thing about 18 hour slow cook steaks mm. which as a kid you just think that's how you cook a steak like yeah. it takes 18 hours for a good steak which <laughs> <It laughs> is just not time. true at all <laughs> quite the opposite i just haven't got around to it i used to i remembered when i was doing research uh for this 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 ad i've got to show you guys this ad and i love it in context of of like the idea that they were trying to rebrand and there was all these franchises going down the gurgler and, and the boss was like, listen, you know, there's a lot of uh, people who are saying like, what is Hog's Breath? What's our identity? What are we, people don't know what we are. And I just found this ad and I've got to show you guys. So just bear with me. Just watch this. Can you guys, <laughs> can you guys, uh, can you guys see the screen now? Oh yeah, yeah. here yeah. we go. I don't know if you guys remember this ad. Can you, can you hear that? Yeah. Yep. Okay, ready for this. <laughs> this is this is the whole ad. It's just cheerleaders <laughs> dancing and saying hogster. <laughs> <laughs> it's a minute. It's, it's just what? I like this. <laughs> it's pretty catchy and they just there's a guy in a pink pig costume dancing. A minute. Just, oh. On television? On so TV. they bought like, they, they bought, bought two ad times, yes. two 30 second ad spaces. For this. And said, we need to and run a dance. <laughs> we need to run a whole choreograph routine. I know. Is that, he also seems to have an HBC <laughs> brand on his buttock. Is that like. Ogs Breath Cafe. Yeah, cause that, yeah he they're is, insinuating he's, that he's been branded by. His yeah, own that's interesting. That, well, there's Hogstar. a lot of implications there about slavery and like <laughs> yeah. he's, he's owned then, by Hoggish Greedly. It gets to the end and it just says Hogster. It doesn't say anything about the, like there's no come down, <laughs> check out the menu. <laughs> it's just no address. A minute uh, oh, for the Hogster. It's just you know, <laughs> int- introducing Australia to this lovable new character that we would never forget. I, I, and I saw it and I'm like, I remember this ad and just being so confused. And I, they probably only did it once and they like... It's like Gabbo. That's yeah. like a Gabbo. Yeah. <laughs> that probably would have been the algae just saw that episode of Simpsons. I was like, I got an idea. Oh. That's you know crazy. The, do you know what the phone number is for Hog's Breath Cafe now? No. Well, it's one eight hundred Hogster baby, one eight hundred four six four seven eight three. He picks beautiful. up. He's like, "Get me out of here!" <laughs> <laughs> brand they me they keep branding me. They Every time they change me. the name, they brand me new initials. <laughs> they keep <laughs> cutting bits off me and serving me for dinner, <laughs> <laughs> and putting disgusting fish on me as well. <laughs> Uh, my sauce is um, my cum. I have to cum every time. Every time they, they put sauce. <laughs> it's my cum, guys. Help. 
Yeah, you um, know what? You just answered your own question too, Alex, of like why you thought Hog's Breath was cool and how that was confusing to you. You were a kid. You saw that ad. That's like one of the coolest things you can ever see. I guess yeah, so. Like flipping and stuff. Maybe that was their plan was like, just don't worry about adults. Just get kids to think it's cool and then they'll drag <laughs> parents along but, to their... But that is kind of like part of it because I remember when Steakhouses first kind of popped up when everyone talked about Lone Star, the only things I can remember people saying were, you can eat peanuts and throw the shells on the floor, yeah. which yes. is like, for kids, you're like, that's mess. I'm allowed to make mess, yeah. right? And I don't get in trouble. And for Hog's Breath, it was like, there's crazy shit all over the walls. There's yeah. like <laughs> funny signs and like fart jokes and like a, you know, like a fucking surfboard and wacky, yeah, wacky shit. Yeah, 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 and it yeah, makes... Yeah. And, that's when all for I kids. Googled, yeah. When I was Googling Hog's Breath, one of the first things that popped up was like, funny sign I found at Ho- at Hog's Breath from like a Flickr <laughs> account. So this is someone in their like 50s or 60s. And it was just Beautiful. like a photo of the urinals they took where it said like, please put away the tools. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, really? That's, no, like, I, that's I, like older people's Reddit is going to Hog's yeah. Breath. You know? Oh, man. <laughs> it's just like, check out no this one meme lo- I saw in the bathroom. No one wall. loves a funny uh, urinal more than a 50-year-old guy. Oh, yeah. Like, they love to tell you about, oh, you've got to go to the toilet in there. It's so funny. <laughs> that the, the urinal's That's- like, got a, it's glass and it's got a fish tank behind it. So it's like you're pissing on the fish. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh cool, man. I saw a, a little sign, a urinal sign for Hog's Breath as well. And it was just like a... It was a drawing of a hot babe, and it was advertising the world famous steak and blowjob day. <laughs> <laughs> but it had put steak and blowjob month, and I was like, C- "Come on, man! <laughs> <laughs> when is like a whole month? Yeah, a whole month. I'm anointing Jesus. it August, my birthday uh, month. All Jeez. right, I better tell the missus. <laughs> yeah. um, Everyone, tell your partners." <laughs> if you want to see, um, I don't. If you want to see sad uh, social media, the Hog's Breath Twitter account is well one of the saddest things. <laughs> I'm glad you brought it up. Sentences yeah. right there. <laughs> I'm glad you brought it up. I actually uh, about four or five years ago got blocked from all the um, Hog's Breath Cafe Instagram accounts because there's multiple because I was com- commenting on every single post <laughs> and saying. <laughs> Saying things like, um, <laughs> like I was essentially me tooing Hogsa, like in a subtle, a subtle yes. coded way. I kept saying like, "Oh God, Hogsa was being really inappropriate last night." And Hogsa, Hogsa, Hogsa couldn't take his eyes off my wife and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I got blocked on all of their accounts. I'd love to know if they've still blocked me, but they have about fifteen. That's so. Got, fun. What, why do what, they but, have so what, many? Yeah, is it like for each got individual like, franchise. Yeah, pretty much. There's like the Fucking Nelson hell. Bay one and all that shit. I'll check it out and see if I'm still on there. But yeah, what's their Twitter like? Oh, it's just out. like really bad, like uh, really bad uh, meme variations, like trying to sell. So okay. here we go. When Snoop Dogg wrote Drop It Like It's Hot, was he talking about grabbing the first cheesy garlic bread? <clears throat> I don't think he was. I don't I don't know if he was. I think it was I think it was um related to cheesy garlic bread. It's uh <laughs> if onion rings, what does it say? <laughs> right. If Optimus That's Prime pretty. could eat steak, what would his favorite be? Prime rib, of course. It's just, Fuck, just yeah. I love that premise of like it's not what's Optimus Prime's favorite steak, it's still acknowledging that the <laughs> Autobots <laughs> <laughs> cannot consume meat and normal products. If Optimus Prime... <laughs> it's still it's uh, hypothetical. He could eat steak. <laughs> firstly, and also just clarifying, he is a fictional character. So firstly, one, if he was real. And then secondly, <laughs> if he w- could consume food. If a spell uh, was cast on him by a, a, a gypsy woman or a witch or something and he was forced to eat steak, what would his favourite be? I think Prime Rib. If, if prime rib was a day, what would it be for us every day? This is mm. and so, a winky face too. It's it's and there's like one like one maybe retweet. Yeah. There's a some and you of know the that, you bombing. know that all the likes are like the regional managers. You know the guy who has to manage two restaurants and Whoa. they force him to like it all. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's, hey, it's, scroll it's, back up, Alex. Yeah, there was one you missed there that had like some hypothetical. Here we go. Does a cauliflower is Rosemary, Will Corey Ander, 
can beat Root? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I very famously know a lot of famously know a lot of women named Collie and Beat. <laughs> like, yeah. At least Rose and Corey, you can kind of almost get away with. And it's what does like, Ander mean? What's Ander mean? Yeah, yeah, Ander Will Corey Ander? What does I, that mean? I have no idea. They, yeah, they just listened to Australiana that day and thought, you know what? <laughs> uh, we've got some. Yeah, oh, well, we'll jokes on them. Ostentatious is going to sue the shit out of them. <laughs> real, real One like, Corey. and it's by the twelfth man. Hmm, yeah. weird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, weird. But it's very, it's very like. And they're all around the same time frame, 2017 September. So someone's like, we're losing money. No one's coming to Oxford. Breath. What is everyone doing? Quick, get a Twitter. And they paid some idiot to tweet every day <laughs> and get nothing. And then they just gave up. And it's just pretty. It's just so sad. I know. They haven't even updated it. It's still the Hogs. Like the photo is still when it was called Hogs. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. They got it. Yeah. That- you know what would be fun to, would be to pitch... Like the four of us as the new social media team for Hog's Breath. Oh, for sure. I reckon if we were up there putting funny shit up, putting videos up, content, podcasts, yeah. memes, we could turn this brand around and make it cool once again. And they'll yeah, just be like, really. we'll, we'll pay you with a, yeah, we'll give you three free Hogster stamps to use on your <laughs> 10 Hogster stamps and get a free meal yeah. card. Yeah, and you know. if you don't perform well enough, Hogster's over there looking at you, giving it, and he's pretty <laughs> horny right now. Yeah. He's, got, he's got a huge bone. The tail has gone completely straight. Yeah. Yeah, it's, he, it's curly. He keeps, it. keeps talking about how hot your wife is. <laughs> Oh no! To be yeah. cocked by Hogster, the oh. ultimate <laughs> the ultimate it's a new low for old Sammy Shaw. And you know yeah. he fucks he fucks for eighteen hours as well. He really is <laughs> <laughs> slow and low. It's I a, believe it's a real oh, yeah, oh slow and low. Um, I actually because there was a Hog's Breath in Castle Towers where I grew up, and it was in the Castle Towers Piazza, and uh, Hog's Breath was always so there was like the Chinese restaurant up top and that was for family stuff there was Craniti's Italian restaurant was where you go for serious first date action never went <laughs> and then there was Hog's Breath which was like that's where you go with the lads and that was the place that was always rumoured in my high school that would serve underage kids beer oh hell yeah and like yeah. obviously it absolutely didn't but like when you're that young you just think it does like I, I think back on so many things about like trying to get stuff underage and I'm all like you see like the shittiest like news agent owned by like a guy that wants to kill himself and you're like oh that place would never do it but that big W there that teenager looks pretty cool like the place that has like a million dollars <laughs> in the game like, yeah. and I just never got it right with that sort of stuff but that yeah. was <laughs> but I also got another D- Hog's Breath review that is, is great because of just how insane the reviewer is and uh, I did a deep dive on this guy. So the guy's profile is Danny helps you make more money. Oh, and uh, so basically, strap he in goes for around. crypto advice. Here yeah, we yeah. go. Well, no, he goes around and reviews stuff. And uh, basically, he, his whole thing is that he tells you like what the human experience with buying is. And so that's he, such he a great grift. Such yeah, a yeah. good grift. Just to be like, yeah, I'm actually a human experience expert and I can help you (laughs) double your (laughs) big bucks coming through. Not every human is the same, so... You know, and it's just like he's know. just doing it for a free meal for yeah. sure. Yeah. There's no yeah. way in hell he's not like, well, he's, yeah, I'll tell you what, you plate me up one of your beautiful steaks and I'll tell you the human experience. <laughs> yeah. You throw a couple extra prawns on if you know what's good for you. <laughs> so, yeah, his profile says he's designed to help businesses with his study of how humans buy. And he has a link to a website called thementor.biz, which of course is dead. <laughs> like, he, <laughs> it does not exist. And then Dot has, biz. <laughs> yeah. Damn. And then he has. He he has, he has about like 15, 20 reviews and there are two like this Hog's Breath one where he teaches people how to buy but then the rest is like he's just going to fast food places in the US like he's going to Shake Shack and being like this rocks so like he's only picked really on Hog's Breath <laughs> but, so, but the other restaurant that he did it has the exact same format of this so I'm just going to read it I, I did enjoy my food at Hog's Breath but that wasn't enough to make me return what did i love 
what stopped me from returning and what would have made me return. The <laughs> aim, all in caps, of this review is for Hog's Breath Coffs Harbor. To, and, like, I cannot stress enough, like, the rest of his things are, like, New York. Like, all, like, the biggest cities in the world. And it's like, yeah, I'm Hog's Breath fucking Coffs Harbor. Uh, the New York Times yeah. food reviewer got sent yeah, on a yeah. wild yeah. It's, it's Anthony like Bourdain. He's, <laughs> it sounds like he's done all this fake review stuff to build himself a fake profile so he can confidently walk in to Hog's Breath Coffs yeah. Harbor and get that free surfing. And get a yeah. free bugger beef special <laughs> he needs a hogatizer so the the aim of this review is for hogs breath cafe coffs harbor to implement some relatively minor changes to take the dining experience to the next level before you read my review i want to clarify a few things namely how we as humans buy check out my profile for an explanation of this we have two brains a logical brain and a reptilian brain. Oh, <laughs> fuck me. This is insane. <laughs> yeah. This is the longest review ever written. I oh, love this is every like second the of this. starting paragraphs, too. Fuck. Uh, simply, the reptilian brain makes the decision to buy and the logical brain justifies it. What most businesses miss out on is understanding how much influence the reptilian brain has and instead try to sell us with logic instead of emotion. The emotional brain always wins. What I loved. The food was great, delivered on time, and as described. What would stop me from returning? We were not greeted as we walked in and had to ask if they were open. This made my emotional brain feel unwelcomed and a potential annoyance <laughs> for the restaurant. For clarification, this was at opening time. There was a special board on display, but was told this was not the special for the day and therefore not applicable. This made the emotional brain feel unimportant. It was Meanwhile, kids eating. my autistic brain was firing at all cylinders. <laughs> I'd already deciphered the entire train timetable time table for the Coffs Harbour region. I had added up all the license plates on the wall. <laughs> Into hexacode, yeah. It was kids eat free night and we had to ask the waitress if this was on instead of the waitress explaining that it was. This made my emotional brain feel like it was trying to be taken advantage of. What would make me return? A proper greeting at the front door with an upbeat attitude. An introduction from the waitress telling her, us her name, asking our name, explaining the menu and guiding us through making our selection. I, and then he, i.e. Hi, oh, welcome to Hogs. I hate this guy. <laughs> yeah, fuck I'm off. I'm XXXX and I want to make sure this is a dinner to remember. What were your names and were you local? In brackets, this is highly important. Locals can become raving fans and spend hundreds, if not thousands per year. Imagine spending thousands of dollars per year at a Coffs Harbour Hogs breath. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like three or four meals. Yeah, so based sorry on guys, I'm all times. tied up in Hogs breath futures. Yeah, your accountant's <laughs> yeah. like, what's this line item here? Hogster account that you've got. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, a little yeah I got a lot of money in hog bucks tail. at the moment. A lot of money in hog bucks. They'll pay them. They'll come back. They'll they'll start paying yeah. dividends. So this this spiel goes for ages, and there's nothing really more to it. But then the the there's another point that says making the tables less sticky. My emotional brain went straight to are these dirty? My logical brain did, however, kick in, and knew, I knew that it wasn't. But unstickying the tables would make the dining experience far more enjoyable. Oh, that's fantastic. That's a yeah. great pull quote. That's a wonderful <laughs> pull quote. Yeah. Unstickying the tables. And then I mean, he says, these were the few minor things he noted. The food was great. Making these changes, in my opinion, would generate far more satisfaction and repeat business. And he gave it four stars. So, so he could have just said four stars, food great, tables need a wipe. There you go. Yeah. Like that's for, for <laughs> stars. That reads like a two, though, doesn't yeah. it? It's like... Well, that's probably your reptilian brain kicking in, Cam. <laughs> yeah, you're right. My, lo my <laughs> emotional your brain would logical uh, brain. dictate that it should be bumped up. Yeah, that's... Uh, I, I fucking hate people. I hate consumers. <laughs> I hate the consumer. I hate they the customer. <laughs> I hate the client. I hate everybody, basically, on both ends of the production chain there. I we should maybe get five Google reviews per person per life, I think. Like, the only way that I can feel happy tonight and sleep tonight 
is if I order a hit on Don Algi. And I just, I'd love to put it out there to any of your listeners who may be like fucking former black ops who are working yeah. on the sly well, right now. He's got a helipad they can use. They can yeah. use like a black Hawk down. That honestly should... sounds like a sick action movie to break into the hog, yeah, like the, the yeah. fucking hog castle, Hogwarts or whatever he wants to call it. And you've got All to bust guards. in. Yeah, and just, just a like pink, a pink laser dot appearing on his head yeah. while he's sitting, <laughs> yeah. sitting in the hot tub, getting sucked off by just like with Sunday's modified whore. hogs running around like yeah. in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles two. Like, <laughs> yeah, a main character is like, I'm not afraid to roll in the mud <laughs> <laughs> this summer. <laughs> and then oh, what's the fucking uh, what's the fucking thing? <laughs> I'm gonna what's blow the, uh, your house down. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say, um, the, call the me the big the, bad wolf. Yeah, 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 yeah I'm the big <laughs> the bad wolf. The poster just has a hog holding a gun that says, "Better a hog's breath than being dead." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes. better a hog's breath yes. than no breath. There we go. We've made a movie, baby. <laughs> that sounds Absolutely. like a sick fucking film. Oh man, um, did you guys did you guys pick up any of this about uh, the staff? Apparently, just choose their own names when they when they get like. <laughs> Get what? on shift. So it's like a witness what? protection program. Where like just- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they, I don't know. They're trying to get trying to get um, thrown the hogster off the bait or something. But <laughs> apparently, you can. I don't know if you put your order in at the start when you work there, but like you know, I've worked in hospitality for ages, and you chuck the the old fake name on, but it was always a name. You sure. know, it would be I'd be like wearing Anthony, and like you're not Andrew, you're Anthony. I'm like I'm crazy. <laughs> and, uh, you have to be crazy to work here. <laughs> these ones, <laughs> these ones, these ones are absurd. And so they make the the like the reviews that people do leave. These are just short ones that they just make them a total farce. Like so, there's three three I've got here. Our first one, service by Jelly Bean and food was excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Second one, uh, not. Not happy with the sneaky service and upselling tactics from the waiter Tarzan. (laughs) (laughs) That is so funny. That's great. You gotta get the vine, uh, the vine ripened tomatoes. So funny. Uh, oh. and, then, and then it just ends with uh, fast service. Millhouse was an ultra awesome waitress. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh. I'm just yeah, picturing a girl, a girl in court being like, I was sexually assaulted by Jigglypuff at the uh, <laughs> <laughs> Never Heads. Oh. <laughs> You know a workplace oh, is shit when they have to do that to get by. You know, and they go, all right, we'll pay oh, you yeah. fucking dirt. We'll treat you like dog shit, but you can call yourself fucking Tarzan <laughs> <laughs> to annoy the customers if you want. The indignity uh, of having to complain and use their fake name is yeah. just, so, it's just <laughs> such a human... Maybe it's to stop people from complaining. They're like, they'll be yeah, too yeah, embarrassed. Yeah. Tactic. yeah. yeah. They'll be too oh, embarrassed man. as they're typing out your fake stupid name. Like Jessica Rabbit was so rude. To you. Like, oh, what am I, was, I doing? Jesus I was not Christ. happy with the service from Huckleberry Hound. <laughs> <laughs> be taking this further. Oh, that's oh, fucking funny. Brilliant. Oh man. Oh, all right, that, that's all I've got. The, yeah, man. Cam. Um, we had a question to ask you. One final question. You're gonna, mm-hmm. if you're going to hog's breath, baby. What what what's the ultimate order? We'll give you. You can do a hogatizer <laughs> main and dessert. It's your oh, 30th well, slash uh, engagement yeah. party. It's <laughs> slash <everything>. anal virginity <laughs> losing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I want to go there for my naughty forty, and you guys are <laughs> oh, all yeah. Oh, yeah. Can yeah, we all dress up like Hogster and dance around? Yeah. <laughs> and at the end of the night, we all kill ourselves. And, uh, <laughs> Perfect way to go out. We're like, so oh, Frankenstein, would... this is raspberry jam, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, um... I don't want to. I don't want a hogatizer. I'll just go straight to the main, and I will get um, one of their eighteen-hour slow-cooked steaks. I've never mm. been able to afford it when I was a child. Yeah. But now I think I'm 33. I can finally maybe <laughs> spring for the fucking terrible eighteen-hour steak. <laughs> no, um, you got to get curly fries. You're a lunatic oh, yeah. if you go there and you get like 
sweet potato fries no. or some shit like that. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, and I would, I'd get a lot of um, rum and cokes as well. Oh. I'd just go full rum and coke, black rat. Yeah, um, that's the, bu- yeah. the Bundy was, Hogster um, combo. I love that. There was there was a very short review of the Castle Towers Hog's Breath that was like that was essentially just like you know it's good because the house spirit is Jim Beam. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> dude, that rocks. <laughs> oh oh so man, funny. that's sick. Oh, do you do you reckon it would be funny if we all went when lockdown's over? Like, would you do you reckon it would be worth spending sixty dollars each to have a terrible Absolutely. meal? I Absolutely. think it would. I think it would be. Yeah. I, I think. Oh, I think we would all hope it would be bad. And it <laughs> I want to have one be. of the worst cocktails of my life yeah. and pay twenty three dollars for the pleasure. Oh, <laughs> yeah. a mojito with just lawn clippings in it. You know, just like <laughs> I can just see it. Yeah. I can smell it. Well, we Man. should do it. This will give us a nice little light at the end of the tunnel for. Yeah, getting it. absolutely. Yeah. That'd be That'd great. Be Let's get the calendar I'm, I'm, when we get out of this. Mm. Oh, right. Fantastic. Right. Do you have anything you want to plug, man? Um, yeah, if people like podcasts, uh, and I hope they do because they're listening to yours, oh. I'd recommend um, they listen to the Becky and Cam Hotline, which is me and Becky Lucas's show. Uh, and if they like movie talk, Total Reboot, which is me and Alexi Toliopoulos. Wonderful. Um, very funny. Oh, that's it. Former they're the only things I'd like them. to plug. Great. Or oh, maybe um, so maybe Captain Planet, if that's available anywhere, <laughs> I'm sure. Hey. I'm sure what, about a- your, what about your YouTube? You're putting a bunch of clips on there. Oh, yeah. Look, I'm a stand-up comedian in a pandemic, as we all are. And I think <laughs> it's important that we all chuck our content up online. So that's I've started it. putting a few clips on YouTube and Instagram. And, you know, give me some love. Give me some support. Make yeah, it a few chuckles. The, f- give the a f- best, yeah, everybody. Follow Cam chuckles. on everything. And, yeah, I believe, go watch everything. I believe Communion Notice Board was your 100th subscriber, actually. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And now We're you all get out here trying URL to make it. Courtesy of the Community Notice Board, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you Happy so much. Happy 40th. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Served to you by Ash Ketchum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks uh, for having me, guys. Thanks, right. buddy. Cheers, Cam. Right, thanks for thanks. that. Uh, okay, cool. Do we go straight into the the outro as well? Should we yeah, yeah. Be like, what an episode. <laughs> what a ride. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, All let's right, do that. You want to do that? Yeah. Wow, what an episode. Fuck that was cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still crying. So Holy beautiful. Shit. Very that was funny. A standing O. Standing Cameron o. James, what a king. Follow a him king. on all socials. I believe he's I am Cameron James on everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I'll checks out. It. He's got a YouTube. He's got multiple podcasts. He's got five. Some funny clips. Yep, Total Reboot. The Becky and Cam Hotline. Very good. Becky and Cam Hotline is very funny. Oh, I know. Was a regular I, listener. I was listening to some clips of it today on Cameron James's new YouTube channel. <laughs> he's uh, um, he's he's great. So yeah, get her, get around Cam, and uh, yeah, thanks everybody. Uh, and get around super us. Super importantly, follow us. Yeah, chuck us a uh, uh, subscribe. I don't know, we're getting up to um, what are we at? One twenty six YouTube now. No, we're a little more than that. So uh, we are our YouTube channel. We got our own fancy custom channel. It's yeah, youtube.com cool. slash community notice board, I believe. Uh, and we're trying to get to um, a million before the lockdown is over. So <laughs> yes. yeah. get behind it. We are, Thanks to otherwise we have a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, we've also obviously got Facebook and Twitter, which is not very popular. But you can also <laughs> just listen to us on all podcast platforms. We'd really appreciate it if you left us a five-star review on yes. Apple Podcasts because that, for some reason, apparently affects the algorithm. And is but if you, um, yeah, stuff. but if you listen on Spotify, you think you can leave reviews on that too. Uh, can you? I think yeah. you can. Yeah. I guess but the just, most important thing really is like if you like the podcast, just tell everyone you know constantly, just in conversation yes. at the pub when you ever get back there, and you're like, hey, I listen to all a your great friends, podcast. Alienate your family. Just ask yep. Drew weird, for like, tips. Q and on yeah. guy, but it's you know community notice board instead. Yep. And Crypto you can fans. hang out with us at the pub. You know where we'll be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We do like to hang out with people. And we're and we allowed will stay there in. for hours. As long as you occasionally stroke that ego and just be like, <laughs> remember the Eric Patrick episode? And we're like, boy, do I. <laughs> but if, you, uh, uh, if you've got any suggestions, like we said, for any of the apps, let us know. And yep. uh, Yeah, absolutely. That's it, right? See yep. you guys. Thank right. you. We'll Thanks see you everybody. next week. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you. See you.